Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to run any Windows games or any applications, uh, Windows applications on your Ubuntu operating system. So, there, I know there is already billions of videos and tutorials about it. I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. So, let's do it. The first thing you have to know, there is a program called Wine and we use this program to run any windows games or applications if you go to the official website which is www.winehq.org uh, you can know more about what is wine and how it does everything like running windows games on linux like ubuntu or ubuntu operating system so I suppose you haven't installed Wine yet, so first thing we are going to add the Wine repository to our system. To do that, go to the this website and go download and download Ubuntu packages, and we have to copy this address PPA copy this address now open up a terminal and type sudo apt add repository and paste that address what it does basically it adds uh, the one repository to our system so that we can retrieve latest version of wine from the official wine repository just press enter since I have already added this to my system I'm not doing anything but you have to press enter to finish it and after that you have to do sudo apt-get update press enter and this will just update the system with the all the repositories uh, saved in the system so in the mean in the meantime uh, I have uploaded a wine uh, archive we need this because on Windows we have we have to install like different uh, Dell files on Windows so you have to do pretty much similar with wine uh, you have to install like uh, BC runtime files and different runtime files so I have put together all these files uh, for wine in a archive so you have to download that file so yeah for your convenience I have created a archive with all the different files in it to install inside wine to be able to run different windows applications and games so you have to download that file from the internet so the link of the file is in the description of this video just paste the link and download the file uh, since the name of the file is wine tar so i i have already downloaded this file i have already this file on my desktop so just download this file wine and save it somewhere maybe uh, on your desktop So once you have downloaded this file winder just extract that file by click, right clicking extract and extract here and then back to the terminal we have added the repository by using this command then we have updated by this command then after then we are going to install wine to install wine we have to type sudo apt-get install wine and press tab and this will show us all the available wine versions uh, for us uh, to, to install so I'm gonna install wine version 1.7 so I have to type 1.7 and press enter so I have already installed wine this way 
it didn't say anything else so you have to confirm like for example you have to press yeah y and enter to install wine now once that's done you have installed wine i'll back to this i think it's still extracting the wine this we just have to wait uh, for this we are going to get um, it will create a folder we, we have to copy the files mm, all right right yeah just wait okay in the meantime now we have to create a wine environment wine environment is similar to what we have on windows like c drive in windows c drive you have different folders with wine we have to do the same to do that we basically have to type this command it will be created automatically if you don't even type anything more but now we are going to define a 32-bit windows system by putting this command just type this command and press enter now the windows environment is created uh, is being created uh, for wine this is a fake windows environment for wine this is not the actual and that uh, wine folder is is inside home folder and after that just type ln hash s dot wine wine this this will create a wine folder in our home folder so we can see the wine created environment now we can see a wine folder if you go inside this folder, you can, you'll be able to see all the different similar windows directories like drive C, C drive, program files, windows folder. But we don't need to know this, all of this. But in case like windows, if you are missing any Dell file, you have to put the Dell files in the respective folder like windows system do. Now we don't need that. So this now we have extracted this file now this folder is created open that folder then you see one tricks oh, i think it's not fully extracted yet so we just have to wait here it's being extracted now if you go back to the terminal window and type wine cfg this will just basically gives us the wine configuration window here you can select which version of windows you are going to eat. wine is going to emulate the default is windows xp but in case if you have an application which requires different version of windows you can select from here and press apply and ok but we will leave this with xp in the libraries tab you will find different windows uh, dell files uh, what you can do with these files you don't need to know this yet but if you go to the graphics tab you can configure few things like if you want you can have like a, a window emulated virtual or desktop if you tick that and apply ok now again run the one configuration see everything will be inside this window so if you want to run an a full screen application and in a window you can do this that do that by this uh, by ticking emulate virtual desktop now untick and automatically capture in the desktop in integration we want to uh, relate the windows uh, my documents to 
our home folders uh, documents folder so everything of windows my documents will be put inside home folders uh, documents that's uh, convenient now everything else you can check my version that's not needed now it's done uh, the one folder is created by extracting this now we have to open that folder then we have to copy this one tricks to just press shift f4 and this will open a terminal in this folder now we are going to move this one tricks folder to other folder to another folder uh, you have to type move one tricks and this symbol and catch enter all right then I have to do I have to put R command okay now enter what all right okay no problem if something wrong with this okay just copy this and go back to your home folder and in that rest bar type ca and enter and paste here in this folder now uh, since i already have that folder in this we can just overwrite uh, because i'm overriding because i already have, have this folder in in this directory now hold on now go back to the folder extracted folder and click one tricks yeah and this will sh uh, open up this now close the terminal window with one tricks we can do many things like we can install different windows uh, library files fonts first we're gonna install fonts for the wine environment select core fonts okay and just wait for a few moments then it is done you can check again go back and install a font okay now the core fonts is installed inside the wine environment you can check if you go wine drive c windows uh, fonts all the fonts are installed windows core fonts okay now cancel if you press cancel it will go back to the window and select install a windows dialog component now we are going to install different direct direct x, direct x files inside one environment we have to select this all of this now right uh right we are going to install flash we have to install indigo codex and uh, we are going to install MS XML three four six. Going to install Physics X. Which it it and obviously VC run. All right, all of these you have to install to be able to run. X input X act then X and A. I think I'm missing something. Alright, if I go back, you have to make sure I'm going to install .NET to email. Alright, and what else? MS script, maybe. I think which is not needed for many games, which is not needed for anything. Uh, you can leave them if you want to. 
uh, is input. That's it. Press OK and it will take a while to install all the different uh, Windows uh, libraries and components inside one environment. Just uh, follow the online instruction, whatever comes up. Now, this will take a little bit of time. Yes. In the meantime, let's download a Windows application uh, that we are going to run uh, using the line. Uh, let's download we go Google uh, type GPU caps viewer is a popular application for nah I think this better option would be uh, we just install Firefox in the Google we are going to install Windows version of Firefox on Linux using Y and run it. Just wait uh, fresh. Download a fresh copy. So I'm going to select English download. I'm going to save this on my desktop folder. Basically, what one tricks does, it will help you install, like I said before. One tricks is a script uh, which helps you install different windows components for example um, inside wine so that you'll be able to run different windows applications uh, it's done the firefox see we have got firefox x right click and go to the properties and file type option here you have to move up the wine windows program loader so that if you open that x file it will be opened by wine press ok ok now see wine done So OneTrix now installing Flash to one environment. All the things we have selected in OneTrix is being now installed one by one. Now Intel Codex. Is Microsoft XML. All of this is now being installed inside Wine. You have to be a little bit patient with these different things coming up. Just type anything and next. Physics X. Uh, uncheck this to no needed. Yes. I have read X. 
exit. Uh, you will be able to run many Windows games with Wine with uh, exceptional performance. Uh, it depends how well the graphics driver uh, and also depends on the how well Wine implements particular feature of the game uh, and the features the game requires. So you can check if you go to the Wine home 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 page www.winehq.org you can find if you go appdb this is like a application database all the different applications that are currently uh, run uh, the status of different applications uh, which uh, you can run by wine you can see the platinum platinum list this uh, all the applications with the platinum badge they run almost fluently so you don't have to worry and all the different applications in the gold list they run pretty much good them but they need some configuration or tweaking uh, in the silver li list the game runs okay -ish. Uh, but you'll face uh, some, you'll have some problem, some problems of running the games. Uh, what I do if I want to check whether a game or applications uh, runs by wine, how well it runs, and all the different, like for example, Need for Speed Most Wanted. So I just type on Google Wine Need for Speed most wanted. Then, see Wine HQ is the Wine Web Shield site. That there's the. So here, see in the Wine Application Database, someone submitted some rate, uh, some result. So which version of Wine you can see? 1.725 and it's platinum if you click on that you will be able to see what's the status of the game with wine let's finish and restart later and different bugs within wine with this uh, game And uh, different comments and suggestions by different users. So different users uh, they submitted their results and also rated how well the game uh, works. Uh, what you need to do basically you can check out different screenshots what I have found many games you be able to run like uh, 80 to 60 to 80 percent of the um, performance you get for, from native Windows uh, environment but sometimes you'll even get maybe close to 90 or 100 percent if it's like a direct x game if it's like a opengl game you'll have like almost native performance because only uh, uh in, on the only component wine wine uh lags behind in where like it's the direct uh, direct 3d uh, so direct 3D because uh, they have to translate direct 3D uh, commands to OpenGL because Linux on Linux you have OpenGL uh, to OpenGL commands. 
that's why you have some performance overhead uh, performance uh, for open DirectX games. So all done. Now you can, since this window again showed up, you can check whether all the things are installed. Okay. And see, you have to make sure everything is checked. Checked means they are installed already in one environment. Mm, you can uh, play around with other things installing if an application requires different component you can install. And yeah, that's it. These are the basic things you need to you need to, be able to run any win Windows application. Now we are going to install Firefox, just Windows version of Firefox. Click. Nice. Now it's now being opened by Wine. See, next, 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 and Firefox now. One will even create a shortcut of Windows application, just like Windows. Now we are running Windows version of uh, Firefox on Linux because uh, it's useful because there are some plugins of uh, Firefox browser for which are not available for uh, Linux version of Firefox so you can use Windows version of Firefox and still be able to uh, run those plugins from Linux so this is it uh, this is all you need to do to run Windows uh, applications or games on Linux. Thanks for watching.